probably, I probably did that about 12 years ago. I used to put the map in to see where I was at. Beautiful, right? Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Everyone was so nice. And I didn't have a leggings here. And I was so excited. So it was nice to have a I actually like a lot of nice things to see more. Yeah, we've <laughs> no, I've never been to Niagara, so I've still got to go to Niagara over to me. It's been 34 states in the world. It's close to me, they don't have a lot of time. Superior. <laughs> Not bolder. All oh, right. But. I've got a lot of friends. And the guy actually met me at lunchtime. He's in Superior. He's a big British dude. Yeah. 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 He's out running on the Mesa Trail yesterday, this afternoon. Oh. And my friend wanted to come down there for a ride. He was up in Evergreen. And the trails up there are still a bit snowy. Yeah. And Problem. That was an unbelievable day yesterday. Right? There was loads of cyclists out. I was out around uh, Erie and uh, Lafayette and Boulder just dropping and stuff at various locations. There were a lot of cyclists out there. All towards Lafayette and Erie and those ones. Great thing about Colorado. I'll be back in the week, skiing the weekend. <laughs> yeah. They're both during the week, skiing the weekend. Morning, it was empty. And then all of a sudden, for some dumb reason, I wanted to go over the rest of the mountain. We went over towards PK. seven and eight, bad, and bad. it was horrible. Bad mistake. Yeah, we always stand there. Uh, 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 I keep forgetting that it's a holiday weekend. <laughs> yeah. oh. Go to Northern Ireland or just to get by and get I don't know, you tell me. We're going to start planning a trip I don't know, so I've only ever been once. And I know I, we just did the Republic, we went to a big music festival. There was a village in the middle of the country and went out to Galway and up the coast to Castle turn around Dublin. I mean, it's, there's so much to see. You've got, you know, the Where's there a good way. castle to stay at? I've been told you need to stay, oh, spend the night in the castle in Ireland. <laughs> That's uh, what to be honest, again, I don't know where. <laughs> There, there, there will be some, yeah. but I mean, up above Belfast, and Belfast has really done a lot since you know I left England mm -hmm. and the troubles finished. It's meant to be a very cool city, mm -hmm. so there's stuff to see all over the, the whole island. It's nice, it's mm -hmm. like manageable, drivable, and yeah. quiet. Yeah. Yeah, but do they drive on the left side of the road? Yeah, left side of the road, and they're all six shift cars. So. I actually, I, my first vehicle was a stick shift. I could handle that, but. Well, with your left hand? Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> it's very hard. I, I know yeah. when, I, when I used to work over there, I always took a cab to my hotel. And then we had a couple of cars. And so, but I wouldn't venture more than maybe two miles from the office. <laughs> the, road, the road, the narrowness of the road, when we go back, that's the thing that blows our minds. And we often say, so often, God, Americans must just die when they drive on these country roads. There's yeah. no room. You know, you can't get two cars past in a lot of the places. A friend of mine was over there and he's like, well, you're not really driving close oh enough. Oh my God, he's in the shuttle. 
I said you're not really driving close enough to you click mirrors. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. The stick shift takes some getting out of road bikes. I went to Italy last year and we hired a car. Not in Rome, but particularly about outside of Rome Airport. Drove down the Amalfi Coast and then all the way up to Florence and around to Tuscany and it was uh, that was a long time since I've driven a stick shift. Mm -hmm. right, so you can the left hand. Yeah, I think it I'd have a, I even had a hard time pulling into the parking lot of like the whole okay I guess that was yeah. so hard. But it's uh, it just takes a bit of getting used to it. Driving yeah. in Italy was just a So Bruch and Gordon they were driving on the wrong side of the road but <laughs> It wasn't hard because there weren't any cars there. <laughs> Where yeah. is that, sorry? Virgin Gorda down in the Caribbean. Oh, right. Virgin Virgin Island. Yeah. No, I remember the first time we went down to our, to our France office near the south of Paris a couple hours ago training. They, one of the people there picked me up um, at the train station and we had a company car there too and um, only men worked down there and I was asking, can I keep the company car while I'm here? And the right way he goes, can you drive it? Yeah, I can drive. Because can you drive a stick shift? I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah kind of, my parents got my first year home of this And it's kind of like riding a bike. Yeah. Those are car for like four years. And that's the only stick I've ever had. But I think I could get in the yeah, car today and drive. just stall it out the first time or two, then you get the angle yeah, again. Yeah. Coming out of Rome Apple, I was my wife. I was just the best as it was. Yeah, hey, now get minutes another. and you'll be fine. Yeah, and I stalled at one point and then just, just, just in my car over here, this is an outlander, so it's a decent sized car. With, and you've got a lot of room with your feet, the pedals are big. Yeah. Tiny yeah. little Italian car with these tiny pedals. <laughs> Idiot me went in the Mativo. Oh, no. With yeah. a big flap, you don't have any feel. And you were getting stuck on the pedals, I was hitting the brake when it gas. And I was going on the right stress. Uh, oh. It was a very tense first hour of that. Yeah. <laughs> we really got used to it. In 1994, my daughter drives as a stick. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> the older yeah. daughter's kind of upset because her car isn't, and she'd rather have one again. No, I, it's an interesting to drive, it feels like you drive. Yeah, it? yeah, it's a little more experience. No, my wife drives down and she's got a thing in the in rush hour traffic. Yeah, no. <laughs> you do not want to have a stick in rush hour traffic over here. No, actually, my girlfriend and I last September went to Italy. Yeah. So, yeah, well, we relied on public transportation there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you can do that in most of your movements. So, uh, uh, well, enjoy the trip. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.